Welcome to Six Briggs Challenges. Six Briggs are a fantastic learning tool from LEGO Education. Playful learning is a great way to help children practice important skills for learning, like language, problem solving, and working together in a team. To join in with our Six Bricks Challenges at home, you'll need six 4x2 LEGO or Duplo bricks. You'll find all our previous challenges on our First LEGO League UK and Ireland Facebook page and on our IET YouTube channel. Hi everybody, I'm Lucy and this is Miles. Uh, I work for the IET in our education team. We're so excited that you can come and join us today for our newest Six Bricks activity. Today's activity is especially for our younger children. Um, so nursery or reception age children, this is going to be perfect for you guys at home. You're going to need to make sure that you've got the same colour bricks as us today, please. If you haven't got them, don't worry, just get imaginative and whenever I say a red brick, for example, just make sure you know that means your colour brick at home. So today's Six Bricks activity is called Discover Six Bricks. Now this is where we're going to talk all about the bricks. We're going to think about colour and shape. Um, we're going to touch on simple descriptive language, matching things um, and talking about places, where things are. Now um, our first job, as always, is to break our bricks apart. Are you ready? Yeah. Now. What I want us to do is, with our eyes closed, we're going to have a rummage round with our bricks. And we're going to choose a brick and see what we've selected, okay? So first jump, close your eyes, mix your bricks around, and which one do you have? I got the orange one. I got the dark blue one. The dark blue one, okay. What colour did you choose at home? Let's see if we can do another one, see if we pick up a different one this time, okay? Shuffle your bricks around. And I've got, oh, I got the same one you had last time. Sure. We got the same. We both got some dark blue bricks. Is it the same? We definitely had the same. Did you have the same as your grown ups at home or did you have something completely different? Let's do it one more time, see if we can get a different colour. Okay, ready? We both got green. We have the same colour. Fantastic. Okay. Can you see the colours that you've just selected around your house anywhere? So green, we just had green. I can definitely see we've got some plants in our living room that are also green. What can you find at home that matches is the same as the colour bricks that you've just selected? See if you can find something. What about outside in your garden or when you go for your walk? Can you find something that's the same colour as the bricks you've just selected? What about dark blue? We had dark blue just a second ago. What There's might we see? Rice over there. Packets of rice yeah. potentially, yeah. There might be something like that. If I was outside, I might see a puddle potentially that could be a dark blue or even my light blue brick so i want you to see if you can spot these colors everywhere around you okay now this time we're going to do it again but when we choose a brick we're going to think about shape what shapes we can see okay right so have another really round. is there any brick you can oh i found the red one this time <laughs> wow we are matching all the time today so think about the shapes we can see what can you see I can see here a, what's that one there, Miles? The long side. The long side of rectangle. A rectangle. So we can see some rectangles. And if I hold it this way, what shape are the studs? Circle. Circle. So we've got and some rectangles. Back. And we can see some circles in the back. Good spot. So you can see some circles in the back as well. Now... This is called a 3D shape because it's not flat like the table or like a piece of paper. So it's not actually called a, a rectangle. The, cute, the, the, the brick is not called a rectangle. I should we figure out what it was called. Can you remember the name? It's a bit like a cube because it's almost like a stretched cube. Um, a cube. Cuboid. Cuboid. So our bricks are cuboid shaped. Can you see any cuboids in your house? I can definitely see a cuboid in our kitchen because we've got some Easter egg boxes that are cuboid shaped. You're right. I was going to say the cereal boxes, but that's also another good cuboid. Well done. So we've got some cuboids that we can look out for. Now, 
on the top, we said that we could see some circles, but again, they're not flat. They're 3D. Do you know what the name of these 3D shapes are? If I hold it that way, you can kind of see them sticking out. I've heard of it before. It starts with cylinder. a cylinder. Cylinder. Fantastic. So these are actually cylinders. If I put it a bit closer, I wonder if you can see them up close. Can you see all the cylinders on the top there? Can you see any cylinders in your house? You might not see as many as you can the cuboids. The bin? The bin. We've got a round bin that obviously, because it's 3D, is actually a cylinder shape. What can you find in your house? What can you see outside on your walks that might be a cylinder? A tree. <laughs> Trees. Perfect. Trees are cylinders. Fantastic. Now, let's do some counting because I've got a couple on my brick here, a couple of cylinders. How many cylinders are there on my brick? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Did you have eight on yours? Hopefully, if you had the same size brick as us. If you've got smaller bricks, how many cylinders or studs are on your brick? I wonder how many we found. Okay, let's have a think of some words now to describe our brick. So let's do another. Close our eyes. And two different bricks to think about this time. I've got an orange brick this time. Oh, We've got same. different bricks this time. Have you got the same this time as your grown-ups or different again? Let's see. Okay, so I want to think of some words to describe our bricks. We know we can use colour to describe it, so I can say it's orange, it's an orange brick. But what about what it feels like? What would you say, Miles? What, do, what word would you use to describe how it feels? I guess at the edges, it's quite sharp. Sharp, pointy, yeah, yeah. definitely. Is it soft like a cushion? Uh, kind of, it's a bit or, hard. I think the word might be smooth. You're right, it's not rough, is it? It's not like if you were to touch the side of a tree on the bark, that's quite rough, isn't it? And bubbly, bumpy rather. But this is quite smooth. But it's not soft. It doesn't feel like a T-shirt or a cushion that's soft. It's just smooth, absolutely. And what about how it looks? Is it shiny or dull? What word would better describe it? It, uh, it would be kind of dull. I would say. I think the older the bricks are, the more dull they become. But these ones are still quite new, so they're quite shiny, aren't they? You can almost see them reflecting the light off because they're still quite shiny. OK, now this time we're going to have a go at following some instructions with our six bricks. And for this, we have to do really good listening and really good thinking. So make sure you switched on your listening ears and switched on your thinking brains. I want you to line up your bricks in front of you. It doesn't matter which order you put your bricks, that's absolutely fine. If you want to follow the same as one of us, that's absolutely fine as well. Now, first instruction. I want you to put your finger on your red brick. Push your red brick forwards. Ooh, that was a squeak. Hopefully your table's not as noisy as ours. Now put your finger on your dark blue brick. And I want you to turn it upside down so we can see those big circles on the bottom. Great listening. We've done it well so far. Now put your yellow brick on top of the green brick. Great. Right, you give me an instruction now, Miles. What else could I do? Um, get the blue, light blue brick and put it so it's... Stand it up. Yeah, stand up. So stand up your light blue brick. Fantastic. Anything else? One more instruction. Um, move your orange brick to the side. Put your orange brick on its side. Okay. Good listening. Um, now, let's see if we can do another one as well. So we've done on top. We put our yellow brick on top of our green. Now I want you to take your red one and put it under the table, under the table. Great, well done. Put the orange brick on your head. Will it balance? Your hair's quite, quite handy for this. Your hair's gonna hold it nicely. Now put the orange brick on the yellow brick. 
So we did really good listening then for our instructions. How did you get on at home? Did you give your grown-ups a very tricky instruction to do? Let's see. So we're going to do um, some similar thing with instructions, but this time we're going to see if we can use two hands and make them do different things at once, which is quite tricky. It's a bit like when you have to pat your head and rub your tummy, uh, 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 which is quite tricky to do. So are we ready for our instruction? Make sure we're listening carefully. So I need you to pick up a red and green brick, doesn't matter which hand. Put the red, now wait till I finish the instruction before we go. Put the red brick on your head and the green brick on your lap. Go. Well done, did you do that okay at home? Pop them back on the table, let's try another one. Now pick up a yellow and an orange brick. Put the yellow one on your shoulder and the orange one in the air. Well done. How did you do? Can you swap hands? Is it easier or more tricky? Have a play around. Parents, give your children some um, instructions to follow with two hands. See if they can put it in different positions. Children, get your parents to do it. Maybe you're going to put it really far apart. So you have to stretch really far. See what you can do. Great. Now, I'm going to set you a challenge to do um, for next time. So I want to see how many different ways you can click two bricks together. So let's get rid of some. We don't want these ones anymore. We just want two. Any two will be fine. And I want to see how many ways you can find at home to put these two bricks together. I've already found one way. That's another way. Can you see that one there? How many ways can you find? Mars has got all sorts of inventive ideas. He's also going for a side way like this on one stud only. So have a play around at home and see if you can work out and count how many ways you can put those together. Let us know how you get on. Send us your, your findings on social media. Make sure you use hashtag six bricks and hashtag STEM to let us know what you found out. We had a great time today showing you how to discover six bricks activity. We hope you really enjoyed it too. Remember, send us lots of photos and videos of what you've been getting up to in today's session in your house using our hashtags. And don't forget, we've got lots of free downloadable STEM activities and resources on our IET education website. Just go to the IET.org forward slash education and that will keep you busy until our next Six Bricks activity. We hope to see you then. Bye. Bye.